I suppose now would be a great time for a tadpole update. Of the eight eggs I've found, two of them hatched, and I suspect they are tree frogs. They're doing great. It probably sounds like I'm talking into a glass ball. Ooh, there's a water bug. Just like home. <laughs> so I suppose we should collectively name them Kermits. By popular demand, let's start this week off with a wacky one. Fastball the way, the solo. Lots of support for this one. Michael Hamani, Fernando Padilla, Jose Rodriguez, Brandon Calloway, Madam Secretary Pat Prime, Prog Forever, Daryl Blake, and Tim. I'm not old, I'm vintage. Here we go. This solo is F sharp minor pentatonic, plus a couple of things, plus it breaks position. Uh, but let's remember our F sharp minor pentatonic scale. It's the shape we know and love. Two, five, sounds like the solo, right? Two, four, two, four, two, four, two, five, two, five. So keep that in mind so at least when you do different stuff, you'll know it's different from something and then you'll have sort of a mental anchor going on. You're gonna start with an epic slide down from anywhere up Hearsville on the low E string. Down to F sharp, the second fret of the E string, the first note of the F sharp minor pentatonic scale. And you're gonna give it a mommy's coming kind of thing. E string fifth fret, A string second fret. And then you're gonna go straight up the scale one pluck each till you get to the G string fourth fret. And then I like to break form here and go to the G string sixth fret in lieu of the B string second fret. You'll see why it might be more convenient in a second, but so far. Then on your G six, you're gonna do the mommy's coming thing again. G four. And then you're gonna go G2, 4, 1, so. And then this is where things get really weird. You're gonna bend with all your might the G string second fret so that it sounds like the B string open or the G string fourth fret. So a whole step bend, but it's harder to do down here. So muster all your might and you know recruit all your fingers there. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the B string third fret and then you're gonna play the B string second fret, and then we're gonna play B5, bend it, release to open, and then G4, which is the same note as that B release to open, right? And then G2. So. The name of the game is messy here, so you know, slop away. must mention that when in that section when you do a G string bend you want the B string ringing out open as well it adds to the slop and when you do a B string bend you want the open baby E string it adds to the slop so From there, you're going to grab the G string 4th fret and give it a bend, and release down to the 2nd fret before you forget all that, and grab the B string 2nd fret. I like the baby E string ringing out here as well as the B string goes 2, 3, 5, so, and then forget the baby E string, and the B string's going to hammer on from 7 to 9 pluck it again and give it a nasty bend wiggle, a wiggle. Then the 10th fret of the B string, pluck it regular and give it a big lazy bend up before you go back down to the 9th fret of the B string, pluck it regular, bend it, release to 7 and then play 5 with your pointer finger and then 7 to 5 pull off land on the G string 6th fret and then switch your fingers to your ring finger if you can, if you think of it, because you're going to go G642, pull off, slide, and then grab the G string 4th fret with your ring finger and the B string 2nd fret with your pointer finger and bend the G string, not the B string, for the end of that solo. So that whole section is going to be... Let's see if I can do the whole thing nice and slow for you. Mm -hmm. 
That was the first solo. The good news is the second solo is quite a bit easier than that and we already know the first bit of it, right? But there's that synthy noise coming in and you can sort of do it if you grab the B string seventh fret. And then the solo starts the exact same way. And then different stuff. And that different stuff is happening in the same shape we know and love, 2, 5, 2, 4, blah, 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 but a whole octave higher, an octave on the guitar is 12 frets, because an octave in the entire universe is 12 notes. That's why your 12th fret has a double dot on it. It's the special fret. So, uh, 14, 17, 14, 16, blah, 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 is the same as, but an octave higher, 2, 5, 2, 4, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna start on G, 14, and we're gonna go 14 to 16, B 14 to 15, back down to 14, before we grab G 16 and play D 14, but then you grab G 16 and play D 15, and give it a little half step bend there. So, And then grab your G string 16th fret and bend it while you also play your B string 17th fret. And then Tom Morello style, we're going as far as we can possibly go in one beat's time down to the A string 2nd fret. And work on this here, you want to mute everything but the A string with your pointer finger so that you can really give it a strum and you hear like noisy noise and the note we want but not a whole bunch of notes we don't want. So nudge up with your pointer finger on the big E string and touch but don't press on everything else with the you know rest of your pointer finger there. And we're going to go 2, 2, 4, hammer on, back down to 2, and then Hammer on to four again. Two, E string fifth fret, give it a little bend, down to two. Before we go A2, hammer on to four, D2, to four, and then A2, pull off to open, and land on E2 for the last note of the song. So that section nice and slow, and then the whole second solo. All right, home stretch. Awesome, that's how you do that. Man, I miss, but I was listening to that. I've heard that a million times. I was like, yeah, I know how that goes. And, and then I put on the headphones and I'm like, I do not know how this goes. What have I gotten myself into? But I believe we got it. So thanks for the uh, popular uh, demand there, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was helpful and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.